Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on with the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content, it is flying at us. The year is starting, but right now, I've got to take you into Oregon, where a state judge just double smacked the crap out of some gun controllers. You guys are going to love every second of this, because the toughest gun control in the nation, passed by a ballot measure, 114, just got kicked right in the goods again. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. And thank you for that consideration. All right, my brothers and sisters, I swear I have done more stories recently that tie together with everything that we're doing. And I love seeing where we're at. 2024 is starting off incredibly strong. Check this out. Oregon gun control measure 114 hearing does not change court's ruling. It's unconstitutional. Now, I can almost hear you guys saying, wait a minute, it was already ruled unconstitutional. What's the deal? Well, the defense, the, the state, all of those people, the gun controllers who want Measure 114, they said, hey, can we get another hearing? Because we just want to re, re -liter, uh, excuse me, relitigate some of the points. We don't think you fully understood because clearly it wasn't the content. It was just the way we delivered it because you didn't understand. You know, that whole argument, love when people do that. Well, let me show you there's seven points. And then I'm going to show you what the judge said, and you're going to love every second. And of course, guys, you guys know as well as I do, the reason that I made the shirt, Restraining the Rights of the Legal, Enhances the Power of the Criminal, which you guys are loving and buying, and thank you so much for that, is directly tied to this stuff. The more you try to cramp, cramp down on the rights of the legal, you are enhancing the power of the criminal. Wear it if you believe it. That's my motto. Let's get into this. There's a link in the description if you want it. Let me show you what they said. Harney County, Oregon. This is state level. A state court ruled against Oregon's gun control policy, Measure 114, is going to stand after an expected final hearing about the matter today, this is yesterday, in Harney County Circuit Court to consider more arguments against the court's original case finding. So, like I said in the introduction, oh, you guys just didn't hear us well enough. You didn't understand what I was saying, so we're going to do it again. Yeah, everyone loves that. The defendants had filed an objection the first week of December to the court's original finding, listing seven rationale for challenging the Harney County, Harney County Circuit Court ruled against Measure 104. Judge Ratio set today's hearing to consider the defendants' challenges, including same guy, same judge, who ruled it unconstitutional at a state level prior. This is what they were coming at him with. <laughs> Listen to what he responded. I can't wait for that part. Here's the arguments that they clearly, they just, they he didn't understand they said it clearly the problem is not with the gun controllers the problem is with the judge because if we say it a different way it'll totally work um, I can almost hear all the men in the audience saying yeah that always works <laughs> if you're married and you have a significant other you know what I'm talking about this is not the way to communicate anyway let's get it number one defendants object to the court's finding that the FBI will not conduct background checks Two, defendants object to the court's finding that the parties agreed that Measure 114 delays the purchase of firearms for a minimum of 30 days. <laughs> yeah, it does. Defendants object to the court's finding that defendants failed to present public safety evidence. No, they presented gun, point, gun control talking points, not public safety evidence. There's a difference. It's all conjecture. Anyway. Four, defendants object to the court's findings regarding ownership of firearms. Okay, well, it completely curtails that. Defendants object to the court's finding that media sensationalizes mass shootings. Absolutely does. In fact, Gun Violence Archive, the main source, is a complete fabrication and manipulation. We're finding even more things out that they're doing wrong. Anyway, continue. Six, defendants object to the court's finding that almost all immigrants to the Oregon Territory had firearms. What? That one doesn't even make sense. And seven, defendants object to the court finding that a magazine is a necessary component of a firearm. Bing! That seventh one. Now, we're going to set up camp on that for a second, then I'll show you what he said. The reason all of these are so important, the reason we're covering them, this is their counterpunch to getting ruled unconstitutional. No, you just don't understand. We did it. You just didn't, you didn't get it. And that's the point. If you are arguing with someone from a perspective of, in this case, gun control, and they rule against you, Probably a good answer is not to go, I said it right, you just didn't hear me. So let me explain my points again because I'm smarter and you're stupider. Probably not the best idea. And the seventh one, that whole thing about magazines being an essential part of the firearm, they are an essential part of the firearm. This whole game that the gun controllers play, of, well, it's a firearm. It's not protected by the Second Amendment because it's not part of the firearm. It's semantics. They like to say we play with semantics. They're literally dissecting parts of the gun itself and saying it's not part of it because this is, this isn't. It absolutely is. That's why it's an infringement. So if they can't have that in the Oregon 114 ruling, 
then they can't have it anywhere else. That's the important piece. The more these things get stuffed, the more it translates to other courts and it goes higher. That's the entire point. But now let me show you what he said after all of these amazing arguments and a re-explanation. Man, the patience on this guy must be epic. Judge Ratio's conclusion repeated, quote, Pursuant to the ordinance, the court, using its equitable power, declares under judges ballot measure 114 facially unconstitutional in all of its applications under Oregon Constitution. The court makes the declaration to settle and afford relief from uncertainty and insecurity with respect to the right to bear arms in Oregon. Ballot measure 114 is permanently enjoined from implementation. Bing. Done. Bye. Don't let the screen door kick you on the way out to be my southern route showing through a little bit. He just basically stuffed it on a court level, or excuse me, a state level. It's not going anywhere else unless it goes to the Oregon State Supreme Court, because he is in the middle. But now it's got to go to the Supreme Court, which they've already said they, they appoint the Supreme Court, I believe, in Oregon. So they're already like, well, it's going to work perfectly fine. Well, guess where it goes next? Straight up. Guess what's right after that? The SCOTUS. This entire process, it's just like Benitez in California. You're getting all of these rulings going up the chain. The more that we get going up the chain to the top of that pyramid that I'm always referencing, the more we're going to get definitive action, at which point the gun controllers run out of options. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.